Here you have a vintage Gertziati. It's full campy. I'm not sure exactly what componentry it is. I'll take some good pictures of it here and try to let you decide. Here's the brakes. They have a lot of uh, a lot of the pads left. They look almost like new pads, really. It's got a campy seat post, arrow seat post. Here's the campy derailleur. It's in good condition. Here's the campy crank. It's a uh, 53. It's got campy pedals. The front derailleur. Just kind of go over the bike here so you can see it. Some rock chips in the back there. A little rust on that skewer. A little, uh, I don't know, he must have got low in a corner and scraped the pedal a bit. There's the campy arm, crank arm. Specialized uh, tri spoke wheels. Those are tubulars. Uh, the tires are pretty well wore out. They need to be re glued or something. I mean, they're, I wouldn't ride them like they are. Here's the rest of the bike. Decals are in nice shape yet. Got a few chips here and there. There's one under there and there's one there. It's got, a, here's the campy front brake. A uh, little bit of rust right there on that. They could probably be, you know, polished out with some kind of cleaner. It's a. Uh, it's got some arrow time trial bars. The uh, the middle bar is missing though. Uh, you could probably easily put a uh, regular bended road bar on here. It's got a campy uh, headset. If you can see that. Not sure if this is all his record or chorus or what it is. That's why I'm showing it to you. Here's the. Uh, Campy shifters. Um, let's see. There's the uh, sign by the builder. In a couple different spots. It's got some really nice detail there. Um, try to go over the bike a little bit more for you here. It's got some rock chips on the bottom of the bike, on that down tube, you know, which is pretty characteristic. It's got a chip right there by the shifter where the hand rubbed it, I suppose. I'll just kind of try to go up underneath here and let you see what it looks like. There's uh, some chips on the bottom bracket as well. And it does have a big 6.0, so that tells me I think this is a size 60 frame. And uh, let's see, the crank arms are 172.5s. So anyway, there you have it. It's, uh, if you need more information, you can email me. Be happy to uh, try to oblige. But as I say, this is a pretty nice vintage uh, bike and pretty good condition. I mean, it shifts fine and seems to be really solid. So there you have it.